The federal government said, Ohio, you're not eligible for race to the top funds. Okay, you can't have the money. Then in March of 2010, we said, well, you know what? We're interested in having the money. We're going to take a look at these common core standards. I mean, they fell that easy for a bribe. Yeah, yeah. And in March 10th, excuse me, May 10th, 2010, Deborah Delisle, the superintendent, came to the House Education Committee because it, they were required under the statute to present the standards to the House and Senate Education Committees. And I was on the House Education Committee in May of 2010. And she, she didn't bring the standards. She brought a six-page statement and said, you can get the standards in my office if you want to. So the, the standards, in fact, the, the statute was violated. The law was violated when this, and by the way, whenever I say that, all the people in the Department of Education grab their heads and say, don't say that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it was. You didn't do it the way you were supposed to. But the most important part of that was, it says in her statement, adoption of the Common Core Standards are a prerequisite for receiving race to the top money. Now it says that this is the superintendent of schools, okay? This isn't the pastor here at the Patriots meeting in Van Wert County telling you and you told somebody else and they put it on a Facebook page. This is the person in charge. 